Need some coins for that God Squad you've always wanted? Check out rockbottomcoins.com for cheap and fast coins. Use code ZERK for 30% off your order. The whole thing wobbing. What's going on guys? It's Zerx coming at you today with another YouTube video and today we have the new power of expansion players in the game but also I do want to let you guys know right now it should be probably the pinned comment. Rock Bottom is currently running a giveaway over on Twitter. The owner of Rock Bottom is running a giveaway over on Twitter. It's going to be 10 people are going to win. 10 dollars worth of microsoft points so if you guys are on xbox go ahead and check it out i believe we're gonna be doing a much 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 bigger giveaway very very soon so make sure you guys go ahead and check that out retweet it it ends tonight so it'll be the pin comment go ahead and check it out you have to follow myself and also uh follow him and then retweet the tweet like the tweet as well simple as that Make sure you guys go ahead and get that done, but I do want to give a shout out to Jake Rippy for being a part of the Noti Gang. If you guys want to be shout out in the next video, drop a like in the video, make sure you guys are subbed to the channel, turn the notification bell on, and comment down below, Noti Gang. And also, I just want to say a big shout out to you guys. You guys have been showing me crazy, crazy support even this late into the year. We are very, very close. I think like less than 50 subs, I want to say now, away from 161,000 subscribers already. And we just hit 160K. So I want to say thank you guys very much for the support. If you're not new to the channel, make sure you guys hit that sub button down below. So let's take a look at these power up expansion players. As you guys can see, we have John Elway. Now, of course, a lot of people are going to say, well, he has 82 speed. So that means escape artist. But no, it does not mean escape artist because you guys can see he is a strong arm quarterback. So don't be fooled if you think that John Elway is going to get escape artist because unfortunately he will not. But he does have 98 throw power, 95 short, 94 medium, 95 deep. 95 throw under pressure, 97 throw on the run, and 97 play action. Uh, I would say, you know, Broncos theme teams, uh, you could be pretty excited about this. Maybe if you're more of an older fashion, maybe you're a little bit older, maybe you saw John Hellway playing, then you might want to add him onto your team, but I feel like a lot of people will still just be using Peyton Manning, so I guess you do have an option between Elway and Peyton Manning, so a little bit more speed there, throwing stats all around. Looks like a solid card, but I really, really feel like you need a skate artist this year. The second card, however, is going to be Charles Tillman, which you guys see is coming up with 95 speed, 94 excel, 94 agility, 95 jumping, 97 play rec, 94 man, 98 zone, and 93 press, which I have to say... I'm kind of excited for i think that charles stone is actually a pretty solid upgrade uh my opinion one of my more favorite players that actually came into the game this year in terms of the theme diamonds because it's peanut punch tailman it's as simple as that this card though looks pretty good again for theme teams correct me if i'm wrong on this because i don't know for sure i think he was on the bears and the panthers and i think that was it let me know down below if there's any more theme teams i'm missing out uh that do give themselves a pretty dang good cornerback of course you had john madden you had sprinter you're looking at 98 speed you know not 99 but the man's there the zone's there the price is pretty much there agility jumping play rank everything's pretty much there tell a solid card and we also got Edgar and James, which is coming with 96 speed, 96 excel, 97 agility, 97 carrying, 82 catching, 96 elusiveness with 93 trucking and 97 break tackle. I think this card is actually pretty good. However, we have got a lot of really, really good and really, really cheap running backs with the way that the current marketplace is. Uh, you can go ahead and pick up, you know, Walter Payton, Ultimate Legend, and he is definitely going to play a little bit better than Edgar and James. Maybe not way, way better, but you also have to think that you're going to have to power up uh, Edgar and you have to go ahead and pick up any of his previous cards as well. So it's not necessarily going to be the cheapest thing to do, but... This could be, you know, a nice little running back to have. If you're not the type of person that likes to have everyone else, like people have Bo Jackson, Golden Ticket Bo Jackson, any of the GT running backs, uh, Saquon Barkley, Walter Payton, Barry Sanders, you want to be a little bit different, Edgar and James can definitely get the job done. And also we got Dwight Stevenson, which is coming with 94 strength, 97 awareness, 99 pass block, 96 pass block power, 98 pass block finesse, 95 run block, 93 block power, and 95 run block finesse, which honestly I'm not super mad with this one because this gives us a 99 overall center which isn't going to be too expensive but obviously his nfl 100 card is definitely skyrocketing in price not exactly sure what he's going for at this current moment in time maybe 100 to 150k let me know down below what his price is currently but if you want to get an end game center here you go 
Now, one thing I do want to note here, though, is that I saw a lot of people actually upset with Dwight Stevenson coming out because we already had a Power Up Expansion Center, and I want to say Rodney Hudson a couple of weeks ago. So we're getting a repeat offensive lineman position, which some people feel like we didn't necessarily need. I'm not too mad at getting Dwight Stevenson. Now, this is actually one that I feel like a lot of Falcons theme teams and in general, a lot of people may be pretty excited about because I know a lot of people tend to like Keanu Neal cards, but that speed at this point in the year, that speed is bad. 91 speed, 92 XL on a theme team. I'm sure this card looks disgusting, but yet think about it, if you're not on a theme team and you just use Sprinter and you use John Madden, you're looking at 94 speed max in just about every single wide receiver that you guys probably face uh, if you face you know the regular overall which i guess nowadays is like 96 97 98 99 a lot a lot of people tend to have 99 overall 99 speed at least wide receiver so having a 94 speed strong safety if you happen to have him in a deep blue is not good for you but he does have really, really good zone coverage at 96 you know amazing hit power at 99 you could honestly kind of use him as an in-box middle linebacker you, you could definitely sub him in uh, and have him at middle linebacker depending on what his block shit is going to be but i think keanu neal is a safety probably not all that great as a linebacker pretty solid and speaking of linebackers, the final power up expansion that we have today is going to be Sean Lee. You guys already know I am a Cowboys fan, but I personally run a 3 4 system anyway, so I'm not going to use a coverage linebacker. And to be completely honest here, this Sean Lee card is not that great. He doesn't have insane blocks. He only has 91. Does a good tackle, good play rec with 99 tackling, 99 play rec, but 87 speed. That's bad. That's not good enough. And also 92 acceleration. I'm sure the zone is solid, but yeah. 87 speed, not good. So those are the new Power Up Expansion players for today. Of course, you guys already know, I'm gonna do all 10 of these elite player packs as well. Maybe we'll actually get lucky and pull our first golden ticket. High key doubt, but you never know. Uh, it's actually due to UL here, 92 overall Julius Peppers. Uh, I, feel, I don't know, I have like a weird feeling that an elite player pack might just be the pack where we can finally pull our first golden ticket. But let me know down below what you think about the Power Up Expansion players. Honestly, I don't think I'm going to pick up any of them for my current team. I think that Dwight Stevenson is actually a really, really solid center, of course. I mean, it's an end game type of center. Uh, I think that with any of these power up expansion players, they're basically all end game because obviously they're 99 overalls. But are there better options available? And with the way that the market is currently, do you want to pick up any of the new players? Let me know. I think Charles Tillman, you might see on a couple people's new teams. Uh, maybe James, you might see on some teams. Uh, let's get a redux pull 91 willie the near okay so it's probably worth like literally nothing we get an 86 and an 84 overall right there final six elite player packs also little spoiler i wasn't gonna tell anybody about this but i, I guess i'll let you guys know now i'm gonna be doing base elite predictions this week is there's a halfback marvin harrison i didn't pull this card so i didn't know about that 50 truck and 87 looseness uh, i'm gonna be doing base elite predictions for madden 21 coming up very very soon so this week expect to see probably three or four of those videos i decided i'd do something pretty fun so be on the lookout for those videos those are coming very very soon but we do have four final elite player packs here can we at least end it off with like one good pull just one and andy dolan the future cowboys legend andy dolan and Dak prescott decides not to sign his deal three more here tyree kill 84 jim brown 92 overall ashton davis and we have got two more elite player packs that means two more golden ticket pulls and that's as simple as that we're gonna pull gt today right 279s 86 not a gt no surprise final elite player pack though let's see if we can clutch it out kind of doubt it my pack look is just so bad just ridiculously bad i know i'm gonna get some tweets today people are gonna pull some golden tickets i already know it unfortunately guys my pack luck is just not that great recently i don't know what it is man i'm trying my very best poll gt for you guys i saw some people tweeting at me telling me to do a video where like i non-stop open packs till i pull gt we'll see about that because that honestly would probably cost me about 200 million coins so 
I'm not sure if we're going to be able to do that video. We'll see what we can do potentially. Make sure you guys go ahead and play your solo challenges. Get those power-ups. Get them done pretty quick sell them and if you happen to have like the dwight stevenson or anything i definitely recommend you guys go ahead and sell the nfl 100 dwight stevenson any of those lower overall cards like the theme diamonds i'm sure their price is up a little bit today so go ahead and check it out and make sure you guys go ahead and get them sold with that being said i hope you guys did enjoy the video and if you did make sure you guys drop a like on the video and of course hit that sub button down below i believe there may be a second video today i'm not gonna say for sure because i'm gonna be honest with you guys i'm about to be very very busy these next couple of days so we will see but i hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you did make sure you guys drop a like on the video and of course hit that sub button down below i'll see you guys next time